Make sure to never miss another video by subscribing. Hit the bell to enable notifications, hit the check mark, save, and if you enjoy the video, leave a like. Nobody knows Trying to hide but it shows Lost my sense of logical Think that I'm gonna explode Echoes inside of my bones Not the brave kind Never dare to Take the leap when the chance is me. You are special Ordinary Can get you out of my mind I'm gonna Ah, <sighs> Frederick, it's been way too long. The warlocks have been reduced to nothing. Our coven, nothing. No one fears us anymore. Nobody thinks we have any power. Nobody thinks we have any land. Nobody thinks we have any control. Vampires and werewolves are back at it again, fighting for power, for their land, for their control. But, you know what, Frederick? I don't think they expect us to come. You know what? I'm tired of living in this trailer park. I'm tired of the coven being reduced to nothing. I'm tired of us not having any respect. You know what I mean, Frederick? It's, it's been it's been too long. Since we've seen prosperity, since we've seen our greatness. Do you think our ancestors would be happy with how we are today? Do you think they would smile upon us? I don't think so, Frederick. I don't think so. I intend to get us back to prosperity. I just need some time. But I know there's an opportunity brewing. The werewolves, the vampires, fighting 1v1, it's a great time to get involved. I just don't know how yet. So yes, it's true, we do have smaller numbers, but we're far stronger than any vampire or any werewolf. You think they can really deal with us? No, they can't. <sighs> I need to calm down, I need, to, I need to relax, I need to think. <sighs> Frederick, did you drink the slime soda again? Hey, you better not have drank my last slime soda. Go put it on the list. We're getting more slime soda. I'm gonna take a nap. Frederick, I sent something. Which one? Can I help you? <laughs> Hello. My name is Richie. That's cool. I don't want no Girl Scout cookies. Thank you. <sighs> Frederick. I'm not here for Girl Scout cookies. Open the door. Right, how about you don't come like into to my house making demands? Well, I didn't come in yet, actually. This is my house. You see what you're standing would, on right there? My house. Would you, would you care to invite me in? I don't know what you are. Well, I... I don't want no Girl Scouts in my house. nuh -uh. I'm not a Girl Scout. Okay, Boy Scout, whatever. I'm not a Scout at all. Okay, okay boy. Boy. I come here I don't care. with a proposition. Ah, uh, no! I don't want no investment opportunities! Listen here, Warlock. Excuse me? Yes, I know exactly what you are. I'm not into your D&D &D games, alright? You are no mere mortal. You are, though. That may be. But Walking it's not into my house? me that I'm here for. It is you and your coven of Warlocks and Witches. For so long... The vampires, the werewolves, and even the humans have left you out of the conversation. Yes. That's why you live here in a trailer park. Hey, so trailer park's not that bad. You. I'm not judging. It's not my place. But you deserve better. You deserve more opportunity. And I offer you just that. Meet with me tonight. Tonight? I'll explain. Yes. What's going on tonight? Tonight. Tonight, I will share my plan of how the coven joins the conversation for peace. So if you're just a mere mortal, what makes you think that you can come up here and tell me how I'm going to get my coven back into the conversation? Let me put this into perspective. The humans own 75% of this town. 
Immortals on 75%. The Supernatural have 25%. The Coven, the Werewolves, the Vampires. Meet me tonight, and I'll tell you how everyone can have a more fair split. I will share what I know. Tonight. You'll know where to go. All right, mortal. Hear that, Frederick? I mean, come up here speaking all kinds of crazy. Stupid. Richie! Richie! Hmm. I knew I heard that voice. Good. I knew you I heard a faint heartbeat that I could recognize. You both came. I suggest you get out the uh, way. Course. Exactly. <laughs> no, no. There is no need for a fight. Mortal. That is not why. I don't know how you, you know what you know, but you better mortal. move out the way. If I you know, know anything more. about either of us, you would know the type of war that we've had going on for millennia. We don't exactly. get Exactly. So and you know what's why. happened in the last millennia? Millions of vampires. Millions of warlocks and witches. Millions of humans. Millions of werewolves. All dead because of a never-ending war. Yeah, most of the warlocks and werewolves at the hand of my army. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm we have the trash the vampires that are in a farm. It's not our fault. That the... How are the crops coming in this season? Or our curse has been a little bit too much. Shut up. Are you quite done? Both of you. Put away the weapons. There will be no fighting tonight. You came here to speak to me and hear me out. So why is he I here? I know I did not. I invited him, yeah. just as I invited you. <laughs> he had the same thing. Yeah, if I had known that he was going to be here, well, I wouldn't have come. Exactly. exactly. That's why I didn't tell you. Yeah. Because fan you're of deception. Proud. You're far too proud. He Vampires took my people, creatures. negotiated us into the tiniest trailer park you can imagine. Yeah, well, you aided the werewolves. What do you want me to do? You know I that aided both sides. I was used by I both sides. I was just a pawn to both of you. War. And that is what I want to change. No more being a pawn. No more being betrayed. What I offer... It's total peace, fairness among all creatures. <laughs> Good luck getting that with the vampires. Well, it's some very lofty goals. We I know exactly how to, to get it. The werewolves. No, we can bring them in. If you, <laughs> those mangy mutts, will agree to something like this. I think that if I can convince understand. a vampire and a warlock, then I can convince a werewolf. Good luck. Yeah. I notice there's one side that's not here today. Buy. Yes, well, one at a time. I thought inviting a werewolf and a vampire at the same time with the current predicament wouldn't be the smartest plan. I can keep you two from tearing each other to shreds, but them... Can you? Hey, can. can you? <laughs> you we only have it out of our own whim. We could have shredded you in an instant. That may be. But you haven't because you still want to know what I have to say. You're curious. Maybe he's hating the werewolves against both of us. Maybe. Now you're paranoid. And that's exactly what I've heard about you, Michael. Uh huh. He's a paranoid vampire. Yeah, he knows that much. You are very paranoid. You don't trust anyone. Just I never should have trusted you. I gave you what, you what you asked for. You wanted more. You know that's what you wanted. And they deserve more. Do they? You may only have farms, but you have a lot of land. They have a trailer park. And they deserve more than just a trailer park. But you're not much of the problem either. And neither are the werewolves. Because mm -hmm. as much as they only have 5% of this town, you each have tw about 10% of the town. The humans have 75% of it. Yes, Do you think I that's understand. fair? <sighs> no, no, that's not how math works. But you alone wouldn't wage war on the humans. No, of course I wouldn't. Exactly. But maybe together, you can not have to wage war, but if you come together, and the werewolves come together with you, uh -huh. they wouldn't dare 
wage war. It they would. would have to, uh... So let me get this straight. This mortal <laughs> is trying to get his own people to lose land. That's what I'm hearing. He says, no more betrayal than this man here is betraying his own people. It is That's not a betrayal not... of the humans. Why should we trust you at all? <laughs> because I know something that you don't know. <laughs> Unlikely. I can't imagine what that would be. The humans, they mm -hmm. want you gone completely. You don't say. Do you, you think the... they're not working on a way to get you out? You really Europe think the humans the can werewolves. take us out? <laughs> They've Together. tried for so long. And even Together, in numbers, no. they couldn't. Together, you'd stand a chance. Together. But right now, while you're fighting werewolves, and you are doing nothing, they absolutely, <laughs> one by one... You really think I'm doing out. nothing? You really think I'm gonna let my coven rot in a trailer park? <laughs> That's what it looks <laughs> like. that a warlock is doing nothing. Then everything insane. is fine. Is that so? So you don't want peace. You don't want more of this world. No. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So what are you going to do? Instead, take my offer, work with me, work together. Work together with him again. <laughs> so I can get half a trailer park. Clearly deluded thoughts. Last time I put his people in charge of the negotiations, look where I've ended up. You have no reason to trust him. I understand that. I have no reason to trust you either. That's true. <laughs> but what would it take for me to earn your trust? <laughs> Name it, and it shall be yours. You don't have exactly. nearly enough. It's... You don't know what I have, because you don't know me. What do you have, a nice little hat? <laughs> well, Some ripped yes. jeans? Mortality. <laughs> immortal. <laughs> immortal. All just a bunch of words. Uh, yes, Everyone she... can be killed. Everyone. Uh -huh. As long as I live, I can wage as much war as I want against the werewolves. Ah, and I right. will do exactly that. So you're just going to wage war for the rest of your life? Yeah, war sounds this, like the vampire way. That. It's exactly what I'm going to do. Why don't you be the change? <laughs> Good luck with Why that. Why should I? And Trash you doesn't change. Is that what you want? <laughs> Says the man living in trash. Hmm. Very funny. We'll see who's living <laughs> in trash when your crops are going down. Turn to rot in front of your eyes. You dare curse our crops? Oh, we already have. You lose your own food supply. We can get more. Yes. <laughs> I see. My words have not changed to either of your minds. Clearly. You're deluded. You're wearing a hat Go backwards. Back to being a normal wearing a camo <laughs> shirt and some ripped jeans. What you're merit do you think your word has? With a panda hat on. Yeah, it's passed down from all my ancestors. That may be. But mm -hmm. I don't think you have the right to judge. And where did you get your hat from? Down the dollar that. store? Ooh. I don't know. Some <laughs> store. That's besides the point. It was ran by humans. Okay, so mortal made your hat. whoop de doo Well, wouldn't it be nice if one of those stores, maybe a vampire ran it, or maybe it was a warlock. Maybe they could have a normal life for once. We have no living. interest in monetary gain. Oh, I can't wait to run magic shops across <laughs> the country. Oh, we'll teach Ooh. you how to make a little card levitate. Yes, I can't <laughs> wait. Sounds Bye. like a... And go on living in your trailer park. Go on having your people be slaughtered. Because that's the end goal here. That's what's going to continue happening <laughs> for a millennia. If you think I'm staying in this trailer park, you're very wrong. Vampires and werewolves the both are no longer going to be existent when I'm done. That's what <laughs> they've all been saying for the last centuries. <sighs> Not for long. And nothing Not ever changed. But I tell you, the humans are about to change everything. If you don't come together, you will all fall apart. So then, we're in agreement, right, Warlock? This is... This mortal speaking nonsense? <laughs> I think we should go our separate ways. <laughs> Silly mortal, really thought we are going to get along? Really? Frederick, you'll never believe what I just had. What? No, 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 that's not possible. 
I was just with Michael. Yeah, Michael was there. That mortal brought me and Michael together, said, we can have peace. <laughs> we can have peace after you put my people here? <laughs> okay. But that is a very curious development. He's declared war, hmm? Hmm, that's good for us. Frederick, I need you to stay here. I think tonight, I'm going to ambush them in the middle of their war. If I can take out both leaders at once, while they're focused on fighting each other, then we really could get a major land boost. Without both of their leaders, they're not going to be able to fight this war. Well, they could fight the war without leaders. But they're going to be a lot more chaotic. You know what happens then? We swoop in. We take the land for ourselves. The coven gets out of the trailer park. I think this is going to be good for us, Frederick. All your plans are coming together. All your prophecies are being true. All right, Frederick. I have a mission to do then. Hold down the fort. Quite enough of that. You see, here is the Ice Magus Rod. This is an ancient magical artifact created by the warlocks and the witches of the coven in this dear town, their ancestors. And it freezes you both in place. Now all you can do is hear your butter shell, and you will listen to me. This war is over. You will stay like this until we come to some sort of agreement. Because I will not more the supernatural creatures of this world die in a petty war that leads to nothing but death do you see what's going on around you the burning of the trees the amount of dead vampire and werewolf alike this monstrosity is of your own causing and until we come to an agreement we will not move one step now that, now that i have both, both of your, your attentions, attentions let's get thanks for getting their attention from me mortal what, what? You. you. What you, <laughs> you really, really think, think you could, could steal, steal my artifact? artifact. Well. well. <coughs> look, look. Oh, you and you really think you're going to give the history, history lesson of my artifact, artifact too? too? Well, you, well, you wait here. Yeah. Yeah. You, okay, okay, okay. you also think it's a great time to give a lesson in the middle of a war? Well, now's the opportunity. Look, they're both stuck. They both can't move. Exactly. And both of them right now. I could end this war forever. This would, this would not, not end, end the war, war because, because you know what? what? Dude, Look, Wolfbane, yeah. Silver Infusion, right, right at him. him. Garlic, garlic wooden steak, and some water, water right at him. him. War's, war's over. over. No, no, war isn't over. over. And then you, I don't know, I could probably just poke you with a stick and you'd fall over. I'm not your enemy. I need to stop this the right way. By freezing both of them, by stealing my artifacts. Diplomatic. Okay. Diplomacy. 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 Di